Mm -hmm. uh, so it there was uh, this information that was in some of the stuff you sent as far as like who's using your technology. And I think that yeah. in the, the drone space, it's very difficult to find brands that will raise their hand and it's becoming a little easier, but that will raise their hand and saying, we're using drones, uh, these specific drones because of geopolitics and stuff like that. The relationships that you've built with your customers, we already mentioned is very close. Um, but I just think that it's important to see brands that are willing to say yeah we're using wingtra we're finding value in it um and you know that is really one of the greatest testaments to you uh doing things right um so for those that aren't familiar there's quite a few of of mining companies on here semex is one of the largest uh, cement companies for uh pores and construction sites what what other like use cases before we we jump kind of into the conclusion of this are you seeing and, and who would you encourage to really consider Wingtra uh, for, for their needs? You know, anyone from, like I primarily work a lot with construction, but you know, anyone who has a project that's over, you know, 80 acres that, or you have multiple smaller projects that you need to like knock out in succession, uh, whether it be agriculture or projects that are within a certain area, uh, you know, anything that has a large scope, you know, okay. if you look at a major, all those kind of most of the DOTs, uh, you know, as you see here, like the largest mining companies in the world uh, use us, you know, the, the Army Corps of Engineers, going back to the, the blue UAS. So, and when you, um, when I think of surveying projects, they could range from you know smaller to larger. Do you do you say only large scope, or do you find people using the the Wingtra platform for uh, smaller scope projects as well, or is that just like if they have it, they'll use it? Um, you know, does in a small when you have small area to cover, does the Wingtra still perform? Is I guess what I would ask. You know, I think there's a point of diminishing returns. Uh, there's always you got to think about using the right tool for the right job mm. you know if you're going under like i don't know between 50 and 80 acres or something like that that you know we're probably not the right like system for you you could use other multi copter uh multi-rotor uh multi-rotor drones because you know it's not what I liked about working with you, EUAS and you, Randall, is that you guys have a selection of different drones because there's it's like your toolbox. You have different drones for different jobs. Mm. So, you know, it's not one, we're not competing with, you know, multi rotor drones. It's completely it's something different. We're doing a different job. Gotcha. Um, all right, so we're going to talk about this in the QA stuff of as far as processing data. So, I'm going to uh, skip this for now. Um, if you guys do have any questions about Wingtra going forward, if you do want to get a demo set up or anything like that, if you contact sales at dslrpros.com, which is one of the brands under Enterprise UAS, uh, we'll get out to you. We'll uh, talk talk your ear off as, uh, on the technology. So that is the way to get a hold of us. Um, and we're going to go into questions and answers. Here's my email. And Chris, I didn't put yours up here. Uh, what's the best way to get in touch with you, whether uh, email or LinkedIn? Uh, LinkedIn works really well. Uh, also, my email is pretty simple. It's chris.kenny at wingtra.com. So <laughs> outside of the dots and the com, you have most of it right there. Perfect. So that's chris.kenny at wingtra.com. If you want to reach out to Chris, uh, mine is randall at enterpriseuas.com.